A waterway named Tiber may evoke images of European splendor, but Washington's Tiber, Tiber Creek, is basically a sewer, part of 1,800 miles of D.C. sewer. One-of-a-kind Post columnist John Kelly goes below ground to share the sights, sounds, and, of course, smells of this watery landmark. History notes that the great city of Rome was founded upon the banks of the Tiber River. But the city founded upon the banks of Tiber Creek, our very own Washington, D.C., is no slouch either. The creek predated the city, of course. Compared to the mighty Potomac and the Anacostia, the Tiber was a modest tributary. It flowed south through the center of what became Washington before angling west near the foot of Capitol Hill and then widening and emptying into the Potomac. The first white settlers called it Goose Creek. But when a man named Francis Pope bought a large farmstead that included the creek, he went with an Italian theme. In a play on his name, Pope's farmstead became Rome and the goose became the Tiber. Since it flowed not far from the White House, the Tiber was a favorite place for presidents to go for a stroll. John Quincy Adams even swam in it for exercise, at least until he almost drowned. Over time, the western stretch of the Tiber was incorporated into the Washington City Canal, but by the middle of the 19th century, the Washington Canal and the Tiber had become little more than an open-air sewer. In 1864, city fathers decided to start turning them into a real sewer. They bricked up the Tiber's banks and roofed it over. Independence Avenue runs atop what is now called the Tiber Creek Sewer. I've always wondered about this hidden river and the subterranean mysteries it might hold. I asked DC Water if I could take a look. To my surprise, they said yes. So we're getting ready to go into the sewer. They're setting up the mechanism that'll lower us down and they're checking to make sure there are no sewer gases down there. They're venting the system. It's probably gonna smell bad down there, but I have this, I saw this in a cartoon. I think it's, uh, but it's really painful, so I can't leave it on for a very long time. <laughs> Union Station is probably five blocks that way, and the court building is probably about four blocks this way. It would take a few. We're just about to go down into this uh, sewer line. Damn. It's exhausting putting this on. And hopefully be uh, safe because we'll have a wire on us in case we slip on these very tiny little ladder rungs that we're supposed to use to get down there. not at all bad down here. I was expecting much worse. Now we're here at two in the morning, so not a lot of people are up flushing the toilet. But um, but it's no worse than, you know, a campsite outhouse. In fact, it's better than that. It's not bad at all. Ascended into the underworld, and now we have ascended out of the underworld. And it's nice to be back on the top because the air smells sweeter, and it's not quite so claustrophobic and hot. And it's given me a new appreciation for what happens below our streets and below our feet. That is it for us. We will uh, take a long weekend. Hope you enjoy yours as well, and see you back here Tuesday.